Hello everybody, welcome back. This is how to build a simple express app part two. This will show you guys how to integrate a templating language, specifically EJS, which will allow us to render JavaScript in our HTML. The first thing that I will do is install EJS. So in our simple express app, I will do npm install ejs dash dash save so now that we have it installed we need to require ejs and let's actually look at the documentation because i don't remember it off top so we want to do this and also set the view engine Here it is. Okay, so first we will require this and then and the view engine tells our app to expect EJS to be the main language we use. So now let me create inside a simple express I'm gonna make a directory called views. So now we have views inside of views I'm going to touch we'll call it index.ejs now here instead of sending this h1 we want to go ahead and render the page we just made here called index.ejs so here i believe i do index let's save this so now let's see what happens if we do npm start so we did get an error okay so my script so i do have index and there's a comma here which we don't want save it again npm start server is listening let us go now to localhost 3000 so it is looking like it's rendering but there's nothing there so here we can do our h1 welcome to my page and refresh so now we are rendering our index from our views folder and if we go back here to our server our index.js we did include ejs we set the view engine to know that we're going to be using ejs that's why here I didn't have to specify .ejs. It will automatically look in the views for index. If I had this somewhere else, it would not be able to render since it does look for this views directory. So that is how we would connect a templating language. We could also pass variables into our page, and that is what we will go over in the next video but I'll give you guys an example I can do const name equals Jose here I will pass in name and then I could go into my index and with EJS when we want to render JavaScript onto the page we got to use special syntax which looks like this it's the less than percent equal sign and then percent greater sign and then inside here we would put our variable name and when we want to return an actual value like here it will return Jose that's when we use this equal sign if we were doing something such as logic such as an if statement then you wouldn't have to use the equal sign for if statements you can actually do it without the equal sign and when you're returning something you would use the equal sign and just to show you guys here we are returning the value of name so if I save this start the server come back here and we do see Jose passed in 
We will look at this in more detail in the following videos. We'll see how to pass information from one form to other pages on our site and how to work more with EJS to make our site more dynamic. I'll see you guys in the next videos.